Uh, Shalom, Mikeyim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rishakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, Drewwell. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and our brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in this truth. You know, I say Shalom to you, brothers, you know. And I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness, you know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, you know, uh, Adawan Rataza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. My lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash, is going to be a, a current event update lesson update lesson you know give you a current give you an update about what's going on around the world you know around different countries you know not just here in america all right which america is babylon the great that's prophesied to be destroyed by fire all right before I, that nuclear fire comes that the lord said certain prophecy was going to happen like uproars of the people all right famine pestilence all right wars and rumors of wars you know and we at that time right now and so this was a video that i played on rt it says construction workers workers turn violent in Melbourne protests. All right, it says a uh, violent protest erupted outside a trade union, uh, union office in Melbourne as crowds gathered to rally against a CV19 Maxine uh, mandate for construction workers. So they're protesting all right, because of the mandates that their government is putting up on them. All right, and that's going to continue to happen. All right, because this is what the Lord said that was going to happen, you know, in the last days. All right, it's going to happen all over the whole earth, man. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And how do you measure the time? You know, seeing what's going on around the world, all right, all right uh, geopolitically, all right, current events, all right, different alternative media news, news sites, all right. You see what's going on and you measure it with the scriptures, all right? The Holy Bible, the 1611, all right, which includes the Apocrypha. And I'm reading out Apocrypha right now, which the Bible Destruction Group took it out, all right? Because it's, it shows who the 10 tribes were, the Northern Kingdom, how they came over to America. All right, it shows the mystery, how the Israelites became Gentiles during the Hellenistic period. I right, prophesied of our Lord, Yahusha. I right, mentioned his name, all right? So, hey, they had to take it out right, to, to try to hide the truth, but you can't hide it, man. All right. So we're measuring the time now and we're linking it up to, to all right, the prophecies that the Lord spoke of before he makes his second return. All right. Who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ. Second Ezra 9 1 says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in, this, diligently in itself. And when thou seest see parts of the time, of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is. The very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made. So you see these see these uh, events coming uh, that the Lord spoke of. Now you're going to know that this is the, the time that the Lord is about to begin to visit the earth, with he, which he made, man. Verse 3 says, therefore, when there, shall say, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. All right, now is the uproar of the people, man. You had earthquakes, you had volcano eruptions. All right. Verse 4 says, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And we've seen the end be manifest now. The end of Esau, even the so-called white man rulership. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved, I say, from this from this destruction, 
in all in Jacob's trouble, right, in the hour of temptation, it says, shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So your faith, all right, and by you showing your faith by your works, that's how you're gonna be delivered, man. All right, so let's get some more current events. All right, this is up in Melbourne. All right, this is another is a volcano. Volcano it says La Palma, La Palma volcano erupts, uh, forcing evacuation. And it's in the current uh, Canary Islands. All right, a volcano erupts. That's how America is gonna look when it's on fire. It's gonna be worse than that, though. All right, let's see another one. But America is gonna go on fire by thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, there was a, a border crisis. Actually, let me go to who it is. All right. The White House condemned U.S. Border Patrol agents on Monday who were seen using a whip-like cord to block Haitian migrants carrying supplies into the U.S. from Mexico. White House Press Secretary Jen... So you got the border guards, you know, whipping right, uh, Levi, because so-called Haitians are from the tribe of Levi. Right, they're Israelites. Right, and the Lord said, we want to you that come down to Egypt for help, man. You come into this place... America is spiritually, spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And our people coming here for help. This is where that great destruction right, is coming, man. This is Isaiah chapter 31 and verse 1. Uh, you're supposed to get far away from this place. But ultimately, this is where the, the, ultimately, the, the major delivery is going to be in, in America. All right? That great destruction, that great delivery is going to be here in America. All right, and the Lord's going to gather his elect that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. It says, Isaiah 31 and 1 says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they live not, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek ye the Lord. All right, you need to seek the Lord, and that's our people. They're going down to Esau, Edom for help. All right, and they're not seeking the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai. All right. Let's bring this up. Limitation 4.17. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help in our watching. We have watched for a nation that cannot save us. And yeah, this nation is set up to destroy us, man. Not to save us, man. Jen Saki said she had seen some of the footage, calling it unacceptable. We just saw this footage. Um, it's horrible to watch. Um, I, I just have to get more information on it. I can't imagine what the scenario is where that would be appropriate. I'm certainly not suggesting that, but we've just seen the footage short, earlier this morning. Reuters drone footage captured hundreds of mostly Haitian migrants crossing back and forth between Ciudad Acuna in Mexico and the sprawling camp across the border in Del Rio, Texas, to buy food and water that was short in supply on the U.S. side. Reuters witnesses saw mounted officers in cowboy hats blocking the paths of migrants, and the apparent use of horse reins swung to threaten the migrants. At the White House, Saki was pressed over whether disciplinary action would be taken. Is it the president's stance or, or the White House's stance that whoever these border agents are using what seems to be whips on migrants, that they, that they would be fired or at least never be able to do that again? Uh, of course they should never be able to do it again. I don't know what the circumstances would be. It's obviously horrific, the footage. U.S. Border Patrol Chief Raul Ortiz said the incident was being investigated to make sure that there was not an unacceptable response by law enforcement. While visiting Del Rio on Monday, Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said the long reins are used by mounted officials to, quote, ensure control of the horse, but also vowed to investigate the facts. The camp under a bridge spanning the Rio Grande has become the latest flashpoint for U.S. authorities seeking to stem a flow of migrants fleeing gang violence, extreme poverty, and natural disasters in their home countries. 
Hundreds of migrants have been turned around on the Mexico side, leaving uncertainty whether they'll be deported on flights organized by U.S. authorities. Mallorca said he expects between one to three daily repatriation flights back to Haiti and stressed in a news conference that if individuals try to enter the U.S. illegally, they will be returned. All right, so that's what's going on at the border. All right, let's see what that's going on, man. All right. Because we live, actually, let me get a piece up. It's the book of 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. It says, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And we're in the last days right now. So perilous times is going to happen. A student armed with a hunting rifle opened fire at a university in the Russian city of Perm on Monday, killing at least six people and wounding many others, investigators said. Video shown on news websites saw panicked students leaping from first floor windows to escape Perm State University around 800 miles east of Moscow. He started shooting when we were in the smoking area. When we realized what was happening, we started running inside like a herd of sheep. He chased us to the entrance and we were just running away. The gunman was wounded after resisting arrest and was being treated in hospital, the investigative committee law enforcement agency said in a statement. The university spokesperson had earlier said the shooter had been, quote, liquidated, but later said he was in police custody. Footage from the scene showed his body lying on the ground outside the university building. The gunman was identified as a student at the university who'd got hold of the hunting rifle in May, the investigative committee said. Local media identified the gunman as an 18-year-old who'd earlier posted an unverified photo of himself on social media posing with a rifle, helmet and ammunition. The post indicated that his actions had nothing to do with politics or religion, but were motivated by hatred. Russia has strict restrictions on civilian firearm ownership, but some categories of guns are available for purchase to those meeting specific requirements. All right, so there's a shooting over in Russia, man. Eh? All right. And the Lord's talk about hey, people, they're going to have swords in their hand. The modern-day swords are the missiles, man. Eh? All right, let's see what's going on, man. You got this folly with the Emmy Awards. All right, I'll just get one more article. All right, and I'll just close out. See what's going on back at the RT. All right, so they just got pretty much the same. I get this Antifa. Antifa berm barricades in class where police at mid Nibzig protest. So that's what's going on, man. All right, other words, other people, as the scripture says. All right, so we talk about city. Like we are disturbed by the images we, we've seen. We talk about city against city. We 
بعد بيجي بيقول عن زي Isaiah chapter 19 in verse 2, which is talking about America, but it still is going to be over other people that's going to happen here also. It says, uh, Isaiah chapter 19 in verse 2, it says, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, talking about America, against the Americans. It says, And they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. All right, and that's what's happening, man. And we know, and we know that Esau, Edom, and so-called white man, his kingdom is coming down because they're divided. All right. This is the book of Mark chapter three. Okay. Mark chapter three and verse twenty-three says, "And they called, and he called them unto him and said unto, said unto them in parable, How can Satan cast out Satan?" Verse twenty-four says, "And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand." And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against itself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. And Esau Edom is a physical counterpart of Satan. So his kingdom is falling because they're divided. And they're going to have an end, you know. So Lord, one of his lessons was uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. Honor and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone was rule well. And I want to give out peace, greetings, and salutations to all that like Akim. That's pushed his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep doing. Shalom.